This is tape 78.3, March 20th, 1978. This tape is for recording language and linguistics. This is the first session. Wetirikos. In Pawnee, when you say Wetirikos, it means uh, a child is uh, at an age where they can eat real well. <clears throat> it can also be said of uh, a person that has been sick and uh, has uh, regained health and uh, is uh, beginning to, to eat well again. Where is now, T is it, Rikaus is uh, eat ample. Uh, <clears throat> Here's another word. Uh, now these are words that uh, are not used anymore. Uh, if you were to ask a Pawnee nowadays, uh, most most all Pawnees uh, that can talk, uh, these people nowadays, uh, uh, they say the Indian words, but they're thinking in in English. And they would, if you were, if someone was to say, uh, "How is your little child?" Uh, you would, they would come back with, uh, uh, you know, uh, he is uh, uh, feeling well, or he's growing, he's getting big, and uh, these are things that uh, you, you say in English, yeah. and they would say these in Indian. But now, <clears throat> when you say Wetirikos, uh, this is telling the man or the whoever is asking, is telling them that the child is well because it is eating well. It's also giving a, a sort of a, a, a definition about the age, you know, uh, uh, that it's uh, well past wean age and is eating real well now. Uh, uh, just that one word will tell these things. Uh, nowadays in English, if you say, how is your child? Well, you know, you'd have to go through several words, you know. Oh, he's getting big. He's uh, 18 months old. Uh, he's... Uh, yeah, walking around, uh, trying to talk. Well, uh, so much for that. There's uh, another word, wetiratsat. Wetiratsat uh, uh, is uh, means uh, now it is growing, or now it is grown. Uh, usually after the age of when a child is able to run and is well active, when a child is probably uh, five, four to five years old, that child is real active then and can run and jump and and just really play hard uh, and that's that's when they say it's it means uh, it is now grown uh, when a child is born people visit the family 
people bring gifts uh, to the family of the newborn. The family of the newborn and the people bringing gifts uh, meet at the entrance of the house. When the people see them coming, they open the door for them and and uh, they uh, shake hands and they say, for instance, uh, I heard that a young man or a young woman arrived here. And the parents will say yes. And usually the grandfather and grandmother will come in, you know, and they'll more or less take over, you know. And um, they'll... Uh, uh, bring in the child and and a fellow may may have been late uh, in bringing uh, a gift or uh, welcoming the child uh, into the world you know so he may say uh, well uh, the child is probably grown now echo we could uh, the child is probably grown now, and uh, I brought uh, I brought the food. Uh, uh, meaning uh, he can probably eat well now. Uh, and uh, these are sort of exaggerations, you know, to cut to kind of dull the uh, the fact that. Uh, he may have come uh, a month or or too late, you know, to welcome the child, you know. Uh, uh, other things, uh, maybe he may have been away or something like that. So, uh, this these are some of the things that happen. Another word that probably isn't used anymore is wetehra uh, kiwi wetehra kiwi means uh, they are preparing corn by roasting and drying uh, green corn preparing it for the winter uh, another word uh, they probably is not used too much now is uh, uh, means uh, that is a preparation uh, mostly on small game uh, they burn the hair off the small game and then after the hair is burned off uh, they uh, uh, open the animal up and take out uh, uh, what has to be taken out and then they roast the animal with the skin on and everything you know instead of uh, uh, cutting uh, skinning the animal first well, this is another way they used to cook them. And uh, uh, there is a word that uh, uh, means uh, she is pregnant. Dead skiriku. Dead skiriku means uh, she is pregnant. And uh, also another way to say it is tihukawira tihukawira meaning uh, she uh, meaning uh, it it hanging inside tihukawira uh, means there is something inside uh, meaning uh, inside the uh, uh, torso of the body She is pregnant. It just means she is pregnant. Mm -hmm. Dead skiriku. Skiriku means pregnant. Yeah. It. Yeah. Dead. It. Uh, here is a word that uh, 
means uh, let's marry or let's get married with the kids he took the cook so with the kids he took the cook so means uh, let's let's get married uh, really it means let's get married to each other <laughs> And uh, the word for a pencil is raktarih karukas. Raktarih karukas. That means pencil. Rak is leaning towards wood. Tari is leaning towards making a mark. Karukas is meaning uh, making. So the word means wood making mark. Uh, wood markings make. <laughs> or wood marking making. That means pencil. And uh, the word for forest is katuhar. Uh, Katuhara means forest. That's a word that isn't used anymore, uh, I don't think. Uh, no one knows what it means. And uh, uh, I saw a sample of uh, uh, a group of Pawnees, uh, words that they wrote, and uh, when they said, how do you say forest? Well, they said, Tiraha Pawi. Tiraha Pawi. Well, Tiraha Pawi means uh, these standing trees. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it isn't, it isn't the concept of forest, because you could take a small group of trees and you could say, these standing trees, Tiraha Pawi. That would really mean. Uh, just that random uh, standing trees. Uh, it doesn't mean a forest in effect as a whole acres and acres and acres of, mm -hmm. of uh, trees. Tidahapav, it doesn't really mean that. It, it can mean it, but it, uh, it doesn't. Katuhara. Uh, Katuhara is the word to mean acres and acres of trees like a forest the concept of a forest June the 11th, 78. This says, Tatu Radika e Pasit. Tatu Radika e Pasit. This is a Pawnee phrase meaning I sieved. I sieved, and then you name uh, corn, oatmeal, or uh, whatever it is you, you sieved. Tatu Radika e Pasit. And there's another word uh, meaning cash, C-A-C-H-E. And Pawnees say tucked, tucked. And uh, there's a little phrase that is uh, a tongue twister that's very hard to say if you haven't practiced it. And it says, uh, here is this wild turnip, and I'm going to put it in the cash. I'm going to put it in the cash pit. And you say, Patsuka tidu tatsta. Tatstatstaksta. Patsuka tidu tatsta. Tatstatstaksta. 